What is up everybody, it's King Kunta here again today, and uh, I've got a different kind of video for you guys. Um, this video is going to be, uh, I'm just ranking some of the gold farms that have made me the most gold, in hopes that this will just give you guys some more information on which ones you should actually farm, which ones are worth your time, and uh, which ones I personally have made uh, the most amount of gold from. So to start this off, we're going to start with the Silophus uh, farm. The one where you have to be level 58 in order to farm it. There is tons of transmog pieces that drop from this farm. It was insanely lucrative when it came out for me. I'm not sure about the price anymore because the glorious uh, leg plates and stuff, the price might have dropped, but I got so many glorious transmog items that you guys have no idea. Some of these pieces sell for upwards of like 200k, and there is just tons of them that have dropped from that farm. That is definitely one of the farms I recommend you go check out. Now, all of these farms will be in the video so like there will be a link there and also i'll have links in the description for you guys if you need help with anything else so all right now we're going to cut to the next farm that has made me uh, a decent amount of gold which happens to be the last gold farm i just uploaded which uh is in Oldemon. it's uh an old dungeon right here and you basically farm volatile air the whole time and you actually make a decent amount of gold and the best thing about volatile farms is that it's almost guaranteed gold because those things definitely will sell off the auction house like no matter what. You're always going to get those items to sell. And also there's a couple transmog pieces that drop in there, you know, just to throw, you know, mix it up a little bit. So the next gold farm that has actually made me a lot, which is actually one of my way older videos, which I started like at the beginning of my channel. It's one of the first videos that took off and definitely one of the ones that was the most lucrative for me. It's just farming loaded gnomish dice in Aldemon. Which, if you're seeing a trend here, Aldemon is definitely a place you want to go to. But, um, that farm made me my first, um, large amounts of gold. So, like, I'd get a drop of Loaded Gnomish Dice, and it would literally sell for 60k in the auction house. And it would go quick. As soon as I upload that video, the price dropped a little bit, but I believe the price is still, uh, decent right now. It's still a farm worth doing, because literally no one goes to do that farm anymore. The next farm which I actually is like the first video I uploaded is a it's like uh in Aldemon again and uh it's basically like crocodile farms and you basically farm these little crocodiles and they drop tons of savage leather and it's actually very good um gold per hour to like run like it's very easy because it's just constant AOEing and it's it's a very lucrative farm, what I'm trying to say. Like it's, And if you realize the trend here, kind of everything in Aldemon really is good farming material because all the volatiles ended up dropping. But also some of the current pat or uh, Burning Crusade because there's a lot of like um, farms that people want uh, the transmog from in the Burning Crusade times. Now, the next and final gold farm is um, in... <sighs> shoot. It's in the Firelands, sorry about that, and it's an old Cataclysm Raid, which you get a ton of transmog drops from the old Cataclysm Raids, and beyond the transmog, you actually get a ton of raw gold, because most of these pieces that don't even sell in the auction house will literally sell up to like 70, 80k gold, and if you're running a whole raid, you definitely pick up a lot of that stuff. You also pick up a lot of Volatiles because they're all the Cataclysm Raids, and that's not just uh, Firelands in general, that's just about every Cataclysm Raid there is. If you could just go run all the Cataclysm Raids every week, I definitely recommend you guys do that because that is a very lucrative uh, thing to do. If you want to get your next WoW token, you do all these steps, you should be able to afford it, no problem, guys. But uh, I believe that is the end of the video. Um, yeah, and so in the links to the description, I have my Twitter, my Discord, and my Twitch channel, which I do stream on daily. Now, they may not look like those links, but I have the links monetized, so they give me a little bit of portion back whenever you click on the links. It's just a way for me to continue making YouTube videos because YouTube is very expensive. It's a very expensive thing to do, and um, it just helps me create more videos, you guys. And, uh, yep, all the links to the videos will be in the description, but they will also be in the video, too, so you could just, you know, click on wherever I put them.